beautiful grounds, lots of beautiful cemetery going on here, and the neglected death pit, literally. Um, it smells over here, not, not literally, but it just like reeks of plague. Yeah. It's like a plague pit. These trees are guarding food. Uh, we're not going to pass the trees, but at some point, the trees are like planted on top of them. That's why they're not very big. But in this corner, there's a plague pit. Uh, yeah. So much. Just, like, uh, I have that urge to like cover my nose and mouth so I don't catch it, you know? Plague. You're breathing in plague. So this corner has this very strong sensation of illness, and there are many, many bodies under it. It's got no marker, no note, in, no notice, no nothing. So we can only assume that it was a Native American pit. <sighs> so tragic. So tragic. We always find at least one of these at a mission just a spot somewhere on the grounds where you can tell nothing wants to grow, nothing wants to live. It's just bad. The plants here are really broken and really gnarled, which isn't uncommon for these trees, but these seem almost like they have pock marks in them. It's really... Ugh. Any final thoughts? Oh, and that's all blood. So, yes, just to give you some comparison again, dead grass, gnarled trees, grossness, and then that's the rest of it over there. With the healthy trees, the exact same kind of trees, but healthy. You can see them getting thicker. Yeah, so we've got, we've got the trees over here by what I believe to be a plague pit. And they are so thin and gnarly. Twisted. Twisty trees, twisty trees. And then. Oh, look at this. You know, we can say that the leaves are dry and browning because, you know, it's not getting enough water or what have you. But you can't explain why these trees are healthy and those are not. There's literally a hose over there, by the way. It's got to get watered. Plague pit. Cemetery. That's all I have.